5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. This is about space. America's return to space with news and information on our U.S. space program. Welcome, and thanks for joining me today. Have you ever wanted to experience the wonders of space without having to undergo years of training as an astronaut or paying close to half a million dollars for a short 90-minute experience? One company says you can, with a balloon. I'll tell you all about it next, as America and the world is listening to About Space Today. Welcome back. Just imagine. It's July of 2025 and you just arrived in Cape Canaveral, Florida. You head to your hotel, check in, and then it's off to the Kennedy Space Center where you meet with your launch team to do a walkthrough of their facilities and receive a short safety briefing. When you're done, you're free until liftoff. Three days later, early in the morning, the crew welcome you aboard this massive pressurized capsule tethered to an equally massive balloon that's filled with hydrogen. And depending on your booking, you might even lift off from the world's first marine spaceport, Voyager. When you do lift off, the balloon and capsule slowly ascend at a gentle 12 miles per hour. About two hours later, the balloon has reached its apogee at 100,000 feet above the Earth's surface. That's in the stratosphere. For the next two hours, you and eight of your fellow space travelers enjoy amazing views of our planet. You sip cocktails, maybe even enjoy a custom playlist and use the Wi-Fi to post pictures and videos on social media to make your friends just a little bit more jealous of you than they already are. Two hours later, the capsule gently splashes down in the Atlantic Ocean and is recovered by Voyager. You've just ended your first journey to the edge of space a place very few have ever seen. While this might sound like a 10 cent science fiction story from the 1950s, it's actually real and it's really close to becoming a reality thanks to Space Perspective, a Titusville, Florida based company founded in 2019 by Tabor McCollum and Jan Pointner, who act as co-CEOs. When we come back from this break, you'll hear Jane Pointner talk about what her customers can expect when they reach that 100,000 foot apogee. You're listening to About Space Today. So you'll see the blackness of the sky, you'll see the curvature of the earth, the thin blue line of the atmosphere. That's when you're gonna see the most incredible starscape you could ever imagine. We want, we really want you to be able to see that before the sun comes up. And then the sun will start coming up and you'll, that's when you'll really see the curvature of the Earth and you'll totally get that our planet is a ball in space. If that got your attention, just wait. Great views are just the beginning. I can envision concerts in space. We can envision live streaming uh, a classroom session from space to kids around the world. How inspiring would that be if you were a child, right? Ooh, that would be so awesome. But it's not all concerts and live streams. One of the unique opportunities provided by Space Perspective is the ability to do more extensive research into Earth's stratosphere. Historically, scientists have studied data gathered from weather balloons, aircraft, or satellites. But thanks to Space Perspective, those scientists can study the stratosphere in person. The stratosphere, which is technically where we're going, um, is sometimes called the ignorosphere because it's quite difficult to get to and so there's been very little research done in this particular area and we have the opportunity to take researchers instruments on board every flight that we take for any researcher who's done research in space they know how rare it is to get multiple opportunities to do a, an experiment pointner also talked about the importance of experiencing this sort of space flight and seeing our planet from the edge of space and what that really means for each of us as humans. I think it behooves us to have this experience, this visceral experience of seeing our Earth in space, which by all accounts from astronauts 
really does give you a visceral experience. It is no longer a leap of imagination that we all live on this planet together. It becomes very real. Having these exchanges with all the plants around me, right? My uh, CO2 was creating the plants. They were giving me the oxygen. It was this visceral experience of being part of my biosphere. Jane Pointner and the entire Space Perspective team are excited about what their balloon and capsule can mean for civilian space travel and the study of our stratosphere and beyond. You can learn more and reserve your spot now at spaceperspective.com for one of their future flights. Thank you so much for listening to this week's program. Check out our Facebook page, About Space Today. You'll get info on launches and landings and invite your family and friends to listen weekly. And be sure to join Don Meyer, our Space Coast News Editor, every Friday for America in Space. To all our listeners around the world and here in the U.S., thanks for joining me. I'm John Gomez, and this has been About Space Today.